Hello everyone, so today I have my 2016 first video. So this is my first video in the new year, so happy new year guys. I hope you all have an amazing beginning of the year, an amazing January. So, <coughs> sorry guys. So these are things that I've been loving throughout 2016 last year, so the entire 12 months, things that I have absolutely loved and I want to carry on using or watching or listening, like it's music and films and beauty and all that, um, in 2017. So, Yep, and also guys, I have my Christmas tree up still because I'm filming this on Christmas Eve. So, yeah, so that's why I still have it up. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I shall get straight into it. So uh, first of all, I'm going to start with beauty. So the first two things I have are both mascaras. And the first one is the Maybelline The Falsies Special Drama Mascara. I absolutely loved this last year. And the reason I loved it is because it was so black and it lasted a long time. And it also made my lashes just go up here, which you guys know I love. And I've also loved, in 2016, the Lash Sensational, also by Maybelline. This is definitely my favourite of the two because it just curls your lashes so good. And I have it on the day and I will never stop wearing this because it is the best mascara I've ever tried. And literally, guys, if you haven't tried these two mascaras yet, definitely pick them up because I really recommend them. The next thing is a palette and it is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. So this palette has definitely been my favourite palette in 2016 because they're just, this is just me in a palette. Like these are the shades that I wear. Like, these are the only shades that I really feel comfortable with. I used to wear vibrant pink eyeshadow like at the beginning of last year and I liked it then but when I look back on it, I think why did I wear that? And I think much more neutral shades are a lot better for my hair color. Like it, I just think it really goes on my hair. Like these colors and also my skin tone. I just think they are just, such a nicer colours than like really vibrant bright colours and this is £22.50 and I know it's a lot of money but definitely buy this guys in, the, in 2017 because it is an amazing palette and I cannot fault it in any way. The next thing was actually also in my 2015 favourite so I've loved, I, I'm still going on about it and it is the Sleek Rose Gold Blush. I have loved this for two whole years and I seriously cannot find anything to fault about this like it is so pigmented the packaging is gorgeous it is so affordable it's only four pounds it has a mirror inside which is really handy if it's like on the go use and seriously guys the pan is so deep like, I've had this for two years and I know you wear it every single day and it has you'd think it was brand new wouldn't you like you seriously would and this is just the best blush I've ever tried I wear it every single day I have it on today and it is just amazing and Oh my god guys, I am so happy that I bought it because literally I wear it every single day and I'm not going to stop because this is just the best blush in the world. The next few things are all lip products. So the first thing is a MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. This has been my favourite lipstick of 2016 ever, like maybe my favourite lipstick in my entire lifetime. I have it on right now, I've worn it every single day almost and this is my second one of this now and I guarantee there will be a third because it is just the nicest lipstick in my entire collection and this lipstick was I probably wore this lipstick in every single one of my videos from last year probably because I wore it every single day and seriously guys I cannot fault this in any way it is so like it's so creamy but it's not glossy it's so creamy it's so so easy to like apply it's such a nice color it lasts a long time as well and the packaging like guys the packaging of max lipsticks like it is just gorgeous so i definitely recommend that you buy this guys because you will be addicted and guys i just love it the next thing is the hugo milano lipstick in 924 this is one of their smart lipsticks <coughs> which are my favorite and this as you can see is very similar to velvet teddy but it's a lot glossier um, it's not a gloss obviously because it's a lipstick, but it's a lot glossier than this. This is a matte lipstick and this is a glossy like type of finish and it is so similar to MAC Velvet Teddy for like like over half the price, like way over half the price. I think these are £3.50 and the MAC lipstick lipsticks are £15.50 so a big difference for like just like the only difference is that it's glossy and it's not matte. That's the only difference to this and the MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick. And guys, the packaging on these are gorgeous and the smell, oh my god, they smell identical to MAC lipsticks and that, that smell is, um, what's it called? 
it's not like vanilla cupcakes that's what they smell like and they're just they're just so nice and yeah love this and the next thing is the kylie cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade candy k so this lipstick is so stunning i just cannot put it into words how much i love this and i because it's so expensive i wear it for when i'm filming a video or when i'm going out or when i am like say like for instance christmas like i'm filming for christmas eve so tomorrow i'll be wearing this i wear it for special occasions when i'm filming a video and when i go out so because it is very expensive but it is literally the best lipstick in the world seriously like actually i take it back my filter lipstick is gorgeous but this is 10 times better guys because it lasts all day i wore this um a couple of days ago and i put it on at say like half 11 in the morning and i didn't take it off until i think it was half nine and it was still like there like it, it looked like i had just put it on and that is so good in lipstick and the packaging guys is stunning and i just love it and if you can get your hands on these because i know that they're very hard to get then definitely buy one guys because they are gorgeous now onto skincare so the first thing is from lazelle and it is the cleanser polish hot cloth cleanser this is the best skincare product i've ever tried guys and i can see why this was so everywhere on youtube last year because it is amazing it's kind of pricey it is 14.99 but really when you think about it you do get about a month's use out of this if you use it every single night it really depends on how much you use i use about three pumps of this every night and it lasts me about a month so really you are getting a lot for your money because it really it is really good for your skin it takes off all your makeup um I think it's a really good um, skincare product and it's much better than just like some makeup remover like like water makeup remover I think this is so much better and I just think it's amazing and the next thing is also from the Zell and I use it after the cleansing polish not every night but I use it some nights and it's the Gentle Face Exfoliator by La Zell. This is amazing. If you are having a bad skin day say that your makeup looks horrible and you can see like spots coming through use this and the next morning your face still has the spots but your makeup looks amazing it gets rid of all the dead skin cells it gets rid of uh, it, it unclogs your pores which is amazing and seriously guys it smells gorgeous and it's so refreshing as well like if it in the summer this was amazing in the summer like when it was really warm and you just like put this on your face and you splash your face with cold water oh my god best feeling ever like when you're boiling hot but yeah these two paired together are amazing for just if you want like really good skin these two are the best and i will never fault them now on to music so the first thing i have to show you is an album and it's the amelia martinez cry baby album this album is so creative that's what i love about it they are weird and dark and creepy songs but they are really creative like the story like every single song is a story of um like cry baby basically so many of the martinez is cry baby and it basically starts with the song cry baby and then it goes down to all the other songs so there's soap training wheels um I think that's alphabet boy i think so um yeah so my favorite song on the album is probably dollhouse i love that one um and i think it's a really creative and really unique album like i would not have thought of that like if i was her and i just think it's really good and i think these are i think this is 10 pounds and it's seriously worth it guys because her music is amazing and i also have another album to show you and it is the suicide squad soundtrack the music in that movie is literally the best like seriously they have four it has 14 songs from this and i love nearly every single one of them and oh my god guys i just think it is the best album ever like it is just amazing listen to it guys go and listen to it right now after watch this video yeah now onto movies tv and netflix so the first thing is a movie and it is suicide squad i had to put this in the video guys because it is my favorite movie ever i've seen it three times now and it is literally the best movie ever created i love all the actors in here will smith jared leto do i pronounce his name right jared leto that's the joker i think so margot who is my favorite actress ever and cara de Levine's in it as well and i think it's an amazing film and if you haven't seen it yet you need to see it because it is literally the best film ever and once you see it you will watch it again and again and again and again and again and again and I've also loved two shows on Netflix and the first one is Scream 
literally Scream was the best season of last year on Netflix ever even better than Pretty Little Liars and that is saying something like, I love that and that topped it like it was so so good like if I could only watch one thing for the rest of my life it'd probably be that um I just love it and there's two seasons and I really have to do a season three because I'd love to see more of it um but yeah I absolutely love it and if you have Netflix watch it because you will be hooked from episode one it is literally amazing and it is so addictive and I've also loved Pretty Little Liars and I cannot wait I think it's April 19th April 19th when the last 10 episodes are on I am so excited like it is I watch every single episode and it is just the best, well not the best, Scream is the best obviously, but it is my second favourite TV show ever. I absolutely love it and I can't believe it's coming to an end guys, I want it to be on forever but obviously it can't. There's only 10 more episodes and I literally can't wait for them and if you don't watch it, go and watch it, you'll be So that is the end of my 2016 favourite video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.